On a hot summer night in 1988, Jane Borowski was stabbed 27 times by an unknown man. She was seven months pregnant. My name is Jane Borowski. I survived, and I remember everything. Jane is the lone survivor of a serial killer. I'm your host, Jennifer Amell, and this is Dark Valley. Join us in our search for America's unknown serial killer. Subscribe to Dark Valley, out now. Slow Burn Media, an evergreen podcast, presents Who Killed, a podcast that provides a voice for the voiceless. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Who Killed, the presser of the week. I'm your host, Bill Huffman, and this is a Slow Burn Media, evergreen podcast, and killer podcast production. On this week's episode, we are going to look at a case that has been going on in Texas, and it is the missing six-year-old boy, Noel Rodriguez Alvarez. And it has been six months plus since they, or a year plus, I think, now that they've been looking for him. And uh, yeah, he was last seen in the final week of 2022. And apparently he was a special needs child, and he needed certain oxygen treatments and this was due to a chronic lung disease now this is one of those situations where you have a family who may not be in a position to take care of a child such as this but this is no way to go about things apparently this is a murder investigation and she was just indicted just last week by a grand jury in the murder of six-year-old Noel Rodriguez Alvarez. So one Cindy Rodriguez Singh is currently overseas because she boarded an international flight right before the Amber Alert was even sent out. But capital murder charges are pending and Two counts of an injury to a child. Also, one count of abandoning without the intent to return and the disappearance of no- Noel. So this is one of those cases where it is an extremely tragic and awful situation where you have a child who has been neglected and left basically for dead, but... We don't know exactly how he died because police say they may never ever find a body. Which is another thing that makes this case all that much more tragic. No, no body. I mean, granted, they will have an easy road to conviction. 87% of no body murder indictments are convicted. So that's a pretty good number. And... It is really going to be interesting to see if they can get her from overseas and, you know, begin the extradition process. And the chief of police will be discussing some of those tactics and what's going to happen next in this press conference. It is an interesting case. There has been a police dog that was trained to sniff out human remains and they alerted police to both a carpet and a new patio. Now, again, we don't know if they're ever going to be able to find this body because we just don't know what's underneath there. And if they dig it up, then that's the case. That's great. But the bottom line is they don't need a body. This was a clear case of neglect, and it was something that had been documented Obviously, this case is very sketchy. So listen to the press conference, like I said, and know that there was some shady stuff going on in this home because it was on March 20th of 2023 when the CPS of Texas had been contacted by family members and said that Noel had not been seen since November of 2022. Mind you, that's about five months. So after a welfare check, according to WFA 
A from Texas. The welfare check was requested at the child's home, and the 37-year-old Cindy Rodriguez Singh told police that Noel was in Mexico with his biological father. So an investigation was started, and, well, guess what? She was lying. So, as I said before, she got on a plane right before the Amber Alert was announced and fled to Turkey and is apparently currently in India. So this is one of those cases where you just have some real dirtball people who didn't want to take care of their child and they fled and it's ridiculous that they just left their child to die and, you know, potentially buried them and may never be found. It's very tragic. I know that the people that were looking for this child were absolutely devastated when, you know, it became clear that there were limited chances that they would find him alive. And again, like I mentioned, he said, and the investigators said that the child was unhealthy and malnourished. So the family also believed that the six-year-old had been possessed and was evil. So we have a lot of things going on in this case, and the press conference is kind of one of those press conferences where they're laying everything out, and we probably won't hear anything again until the court case or if they actually get the extradition to go through because, you know, they have to jump through 8 billion hoops to make this happen. They have to work with the FBI, and they will talk about that in the press conference. But know that these parents are pretty awful people and this mother is the one that has been indicted on murder charges so good for the investigation i feel terrible for the people that have been investigating this case because the investigation into a child death is never pleasant and will stick with you for a long long time and again Listen to this episode, listen to the press conference, listen to the reporter's questions. They will ask important questions, and they will try to answer as best they can. But remember, this is not a case that has been solved. It's just a case where they have indicted her. So they will only provide a certain amount of information, but it is very interesting to listen to. So check it out, and thanks again for tuning in to the Who Killed Presser of the Week And let's hope they can get Cindy Rodriguez Singh back in this country to be prosecuted.
Thank you guys so much for tuning into the Presser of the Week this week. And, you know, I've been dropping these every Friday or Thursday. And it is something that is informative. And information is always out there if you just look for it. So when you get a case like Noel Rodriguez Alvarez, you see nothing but pain and suffering for that child. And you can only hope that justice will one day be brought to Cindy Rodriguez sing. She does not sound like the mother you would want to have, so she should be punished the way that she punished her child, which was, well, he's not alive anymore, so you know where I'm going with that. It's a child killing. There's nothing that makes it acceptable, and you should pay the ultimate price. So, on that note, Stay tuned for the brand new episode of Who Killed that drops in a few minutes. And I, again, appreciate you guys all so much for tuning in. Without you, we would not be able to do these shows every week. And let's just hope that the Everman police and the people investigating this case will be able to get the results that they desire. And justice will prevail. So until next time, as always, stay healthy and be safe. Hi, this is Amy and Vanessa from She Goes by Jane, where we shine light on the stories of missing and unidentified women. On November 7th, we're sharing Nahida's story for the first time in a podcast. And this is a story that I thought I knew, but after reading police reports, it became more complicated than I thought. When investigators are called to Nahida Khatib's house, everything looks fine. Her purse is on the kitchen table, her cup of coffee is on the counter, and her two-year-old niece is in her playpen. The only thing amiss? Nahida is missing. Every week, we feature a poem written in honor of the person we're talking about. This week, we're joined by one of our favorite actresses. You might know her from Sister Act or King of the Hill or The Descendants. But if you're like us, you'll know her from Hocus Pocus. She's the much-beloved Kathy Najimy. Join us November 7th to hear Nahida's story. Women's Running Stories, where we explore the intersection between running and life. Because every woman who is committed to a running journey has a story to tell, and this is where you'll find those stories. I am host and producer Sheree Louise Turner. I'm a 53-year-old runner, and together with original music by musician and runner Cormac O'Regan, we bring these inspirational stories to life. Please join us to fuel your adventures.